So you want to be a content creator. You want to be on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. You want to be an influencer. Or you already are. And you've just started to get a taste of what it's like to put your content into the public view. And those comments are flooding through. But the negative ones. There are some negative comments that are really sticking with you. And making you question, should you even be doing this? Is this even for you? What am I doing wrong? Why do people hate me so much? Stop. You're not the problem. They are. Whenever you start out making social media content and you're putting out videos, primarily of the things that you do, normally these things are things that you have a passion for, a desire, a deep, innate love and lust for. Maybe not lust, actually. Well, it depends what content you're making. And you're so proud of it, it's a fantastic creation, and all you want to do is click that button and click share and let the world see what it is that you have to offer and what it is that you can do. Because you know, in your heart, this is a fantastic piece of content. It's wholesome, it's beautiful, and everyone's going to love it. Wrong. There are people that just suck out there. Simply suck. It doesn't matter if you put up a video of cute puppies playing in the snow, or an old lady knitting. Trust me, they're going to find something derogatory to say about it, something negative to say about it, because they haven't and cannot and will not do it. And they know this. These people tend to be projecting their own insecurities onto your video. You are just an easy target and an easy outlet for them to be able to do it. They are normally faceless channels with anonymous usernames and there's no way to see who they really are. Although there is a couple of ways and we'll go over that in another video. So the anonymity gives them the bravery and the heart to be able to shitpost on your stuff. And that is all it is as well. It is absolutely nothing on you. I know it might feel like when you receive these comments saying things about your personal appearance or that you've done something wrong, because let's be honest, sometimes you will do things wrong and there will be fantastic critiques. There will be things that you can learn from, but you can spot when somebody is being a jerk for the sake of being a jerk because it makes them feel better. And you know what the worst thing you can do is respond and argue your case if you receive a comment and it's along the lines of something personal like i don't know that t-shirt you wear makes you look like a granddad the last thing that you should be doing is saying oh but i like this t-shirt does it really oh my god i didn't really i didn't really take any i didn't really know and then the last last thing you should be doing is stopping wearing that top because some numpty on the internet has told you your t-shirt makes you look like a granddad they will thrive off of that they will love that it will give them the extra kick and then they might respond to that as well hoping for another response these people are commonly called trolls now we all know what a troll is and that is all they are trolls little horrible looking things stuck under a bridge somewhere because nobody really wants them in the public and they actually unfortunately might hold really high esteem public roles in life they might be your teachers they might be your gas engineers they might be your local mechanic just lonely sad people who are sick of life sick of their job sick of everything else and just want to cause trauma and distress to somebody else they also might just be youngsters or they could just be adults who are just f to be honest. My point is with these anonymous profiles who are leaving arsy comments, you don't know who they are. And that is the most important thing to you. You don't know who they are. They are just a small letter with a colourful background and a dodgy username. They're nothing. They're digital. It is a digital interaction with somebody who's not willing to show their face. You are already showing your face. You're already showing who you are. So when somebody who does that, the only time that I will ever even consider, consider, and even then it's going to take a lot for me to do it, consider replying to these people is if I click on their profile and everything is open and I know who they are. It's an even match. You obviously truly believe what you're saying. Otherwise you wouldn't be saying it on such an open profile. But these anonymous profiles especially don't bother and in fact i won't even bother with the ones who have open profiles either you just keep making your content you keep doing what you do you are the one that is out there filming i know what i know how hard it is to film content i've been doing it five years i'm coming up to now i know how difficult it is to film content remember to have the camera around when you need it hoping to capture the decent shot having great ideas in your head and then putting them into video format and then editing that video down 
and going through the whole process of actually getting that video into something viewable and then creating the thumbnail. What thumbnail am I going to be able to use in order to entice people in without clickbaiting? Along with the title, it's hard work. And the upload process, if you're uploading in 4K like I am at the moment, it takes about five hours to do a 15, 20 minute video. Pain in the ass. But also it takes about an hour or so on just a normal one. So I'm very aware of how much effort goes into content creation. And then you start doing things like upgrading kit and whatever else, whatever else. These people are never going to invest that sort of time into a channel. They don't have that capacity. They don't have that capability, which is why they will always resort to just being a jerk, being a knob, being a horrible bastard. You keep on doing you. Don't ever let these people get such a hold onto you that you start changing yourself because of what comments say on YouTube or any other social platform you use. You need to be aware of this going into it and especially if you've just started i'm hoping i can capture a few of you who are really starting to see this behavior from people early on so you know that you don't need to take any of this to heart keep doing you keep creating content you're awesome they're not if you are a brand new channel and you've just started making content and youtube has served this up to you in your algorithm drop a comment down below i want to check out your channels Hopefully we can get a subscribe chain going on down below. Let's build some hope. Let's build some positivity and build up some walls to these absolute knobs. I'm very aware this video won't get monetized. If it does, sweet. Keep doing what you're doing. See you in a bit.